Today we are going to learn the sword manual. We will discuss the wearing of the sword and the movements in the manual. First, let's look at the sword and identify its parts. The sword consists of three basic groups. The sword belt, the scabbard, and the sword itself. The sword belt is used to attach the sword to your body. The short and long leather slings are used to attach the sword to the sword belt. The scabbard has an upper and lower brass ring that attach to the leather slings. The sword is kept in the scabbard when not in use. The handle of the sword is called the sword grip, or the hilt. The knuckle bow is attached to the hilt. The sword has two edges, a true edge and a false edge. The sword is worn with the true edge to the rear. Now let's quickly talk about how to carry the sword and scabbard unrigged. When not in formation, and when it is impractical to carry the sword and scabbard rigged at your side, you may carry it under your left arm. Place the sword and scabbard under your left armpit with the hilt just behind your left shoulder. The knuckle bow should face up. The lower edge of the scabbard is forward and slants downward to prevent the sword from falling out of the scabbard. Bend your arm so that your hand supports the scabbard just forward of your shoulder. Your fingers are joined and wrapped around the top of the scabbard and the thumb rests underneath. Your upper left arm holds the scabbard against your body. Now let's learn the movements of the sword. The first movement is draw sword. It is executed in two counts. The command is draw sword. On the preparatory command draw, grip the scabbard below the upper ring with your left hand and rotate the scabbard 180 degrees clockwise. Tilt the scabbard forward so that it forms a 45 degree angle with the deck. With your right hand, grip the hilt of the sword and pull the sword six inches out of the scabbard. Your right forearm is now parallel to the deck and your left hand is holding the scabbard against your left side. On the command of execution, sword, sword. smartly finish drawing the sword out of the scabbard. Straighten your right arm fully and directly to the front at a 45 degree angle with the sword and your arm forming a straight line. The true edge of the sword is facing down. At the same time, lower your left hand to your side. Pause for one count. Then lower your right arm down toward your right side. At the same time, bring the point of the sword blade toward your right shoulder seam. Hold the blade in a vertical position with the back of the grip to the rear. Your arm should be fully extended with your thumb and forefinger gripping the lower part of the hilt. Your thumb is against your trouser seam and your remaining fingers are joined behind the end of the hilt. This is the position of carry sword. Now let's learn how to come to present sword from carry or order sword. The command is present sword, arms, and is only given when halted at order sword or carry sword. It is executed in two counts. On the preparatory command present, present. raise your right hand to a point six inches in front of and level with your neck. Keep your thumb to the left side of the grip. Keep your wrist slightly bent and your elbow against your body. Tilt the blade forward at a 30 degree angle. On the command of execution, sword, arms, sword. bring the blade down smartly, without whipping, to a position three inches above the deck and slightly to the right of your right foot. Straighten your arm so the knuckle bow is against your trouser seam with your thumb on the left side of the grip and the true edge of the sword to the left. When you are at carry or order sword and it becomes necessary to salute without command, execute present sword. After the salute is returned, go to order sword. If you are walking, proceed to carry sword. Now let's move to order sword from present sword. It is executed in one count. The command is order sword, arms. On the command of execution, sword, arms, sword. turn the true edge of the sword down and place your thumb against your trouser seam. The blade slants down to the front with the point three inches from the deck. Now we'll discuss carry sword from order sword or present sword. 
carry sword is assumed in the following situations. Giving commands, changing position in formation at quick time, addressing or being addressed by a senior, when the preparatory command for quick time is given, while marching at quick time, or when any manual of arms movement has been commanded, with the exception of parade rest, at ease, rest, present arms, or eyes right or left. You will also remain at carry sword in instances where there are troops in front of you at normal distances or less. While marching at quick time with the sword at the carry, you should swing your arm six inches to the front and three inches to the rear. Do not hold the scabbard or sling. When it orders sword on the command of execution, sword, bend your wrist without bending your elbow. Raise the false edge of the blade up against your right shoulder seam. Hold the blade in a vertical position with the back of the grip to the rear. With your arm nearly extended, your right thumb and forefinger are wrapped around the lower part of the grip. Your right thumb is against your trouser seam and the remaining fingers are joined and curled around the end of the hilt. This movement should resemble an upside down U along the leg, not a flick of the wrist. To maintain control of the blade, keep your right hand up against your leg. Apply pressure on the grip to keep the sword snugly in the small of your shoulder. When at present sword, on the preparatory command of carry, carry, turn the true edge of the sword down. Your right arm hangs naturally with the thumb along the trouser seam. The blade slants down toward the front with the point three inches from the deck. Sword. You will apply the same movements as you just did for carry sword from order sword. Now we will look at eyes right or left from carry or order sword. The command is eyes right or left. It is given when halted at order sword or when marching at carry sword. It is a two count movement from carry sword while halted. On the preparatory command eyes, raise your right hand to a point six inches in front of and level with your neck. With your wrist slightly bent, keep your thumb on the left side of the grip and rest your inner forearm against your body. Tilt the blade forward at a 30 degree angle. On the command of execution right or left, right. bring the blade down smartly without whipping with the true edge to the left to a position three inches above the deck and slightly to the right of the right foot. Straighten your arm so the knuckle bow rests against your trouser seam. At the same time, turn your head and eyes at a 45 degree angle to the right or left. If you are halted at eyes right or left, to return to order sword, the command is ready, ready. Front. front, and it is executed in one count. On the command of execution, front, front, turn the true edge of the sword down and simultaneously turn your head and eyes smartly to the front. To move from order sword to eyes right while marching, the command is eyes right, eyes right. and it is a two count movement. On the preparatory command, eyes, eyes, your right foot strikes the deck. As your left foot strikes the deck, raise your hand to a point six inches in front of and level with your neck. Keep your thumb on the left side of the grip. Keep your wrist slightly bent and keep your inner forearm against your body. Your left arm swings freely. Tilt the blade forward at a 30 degree angle. On the command of execution, right, right. your right foot strikes the deck. As the left foot strikes the deck, bring the point down smartly, without whipping, to a position three inches above the deck and slightly to the right of your right foot. Straighten your arm so that the knuckle bow is close to the trouser seam, but not touching it. This will prevent the sword from moving while marching. With your thumb on the left side of the grip, bring the blade down and toward the front with the true edge to the left. Simultaneously, turn your head and eyes at a 45 degree angle to the right. However, if you are in the extreme right file, you will continue looking straight ahead. Your right arm does not swing, and your left arm continues to swing naturally. To move from order sword to eyes left while marching, you would use the same movements as you did for eyes right, except you would substitute left for right and right for left. To move to carry sword from eyes right while marching, the command is ready front. It is executed in two counts. For the count of one, on the command ready, ready, 
your left foot strikes the deck. As your right foot strikes the deck, turn the true edge of the sword down. On the command of execution, front, your left foot strikes the deck. As your right foot strikes the deck, raise the sword to the carry position, while at the same time turning your head and eyes toward the front. To move to carry sword from eyes left while marching, you will use the same movements as you did for eyes right, except you will substitute left for right and right for left. Now we will move to parade rest from carry or order sword. The command is parade rest. It is normally given from order sword and it is executed in one count. When you are at carry sword, go to order sword on the preparatory command parade. parade. On the command rest, Move your left foot smartly 12 inches to the left. At the same time, lower the point of the sword to the deck. Place your left hand behind you in the small of your back. Your fingers should be extended and joined with your thumb along your hand. To move from parade rest to order sword is a one count movement. The preparatory command can be platoon, company, or detail. Platoon. The command is attention. On the command of execution, attention, attention, bring your left heel smartly against your right heel, move your left hand back to your side, and raise the tip of the sword three inches above the deck. Now let's learn to come to the position of at ease. The command is at ease, and it may be given from any position of the sword. When you receive the command at ease, at ease. move your left foot 12 inches to the left, and rest your weight equally on both feet. Keep your legs straight but not stiff. Lower the tip of the sword to the deck. Place your left hand in the small of your back with your fingers extended and joined, palm flat and facing the rear. At this point you may move about but do not talk and do not move your right foot or sword point. The command rest is accomplished in the same manner as at ease. The only difference is that you may talk. To return to attention from at ease, the command is platoon, company or detail, platoon. attention. attention. This is a two count movement. On the preparatory command platoon, company or detail, platoon. go to parade rest. On the command attention, attention. bring your left heel smartly against your right heel and bring your left hand back to your side. Raise the tip of the sword three inches above the deck. Now we'll learn how to return the sword to the scabbard. The command may be given from either carry or order sword. The command is return sword and it is a two count movement. On the preparatory command return, return. raise the sword to a point six inches in front of and level with your neck. Keep your thumb on the left side of the grip. Keep your wrist slightly bent and your elbow against your body. Tilt the blade forward at a 30 degree angle. At the same time, grasp the scabbard above the upper brass mounting ring with your left hand. Tilt it forward and rotate it 180 degrees. The scabbard should form a 45 degree angle with the deck. Lower the point of the sword to a position just above the opening of the scabbard. Look down at the opening. Guide the point of the blade into the opening until your right forearm is parallel to the deck. Bring your head back to the position of attention and continue holding the scabbard against your left side with your left hand. On the command of execution, sword, sword, push smartly down on the sword so that the sword will slide the rest of the way into the scabbard. Then smartly return your right hand back to your right side. With your left hand, rotate the scabbard 180 degrees counterclockwise, release the scabbard and return your left hand to its normal position of attention. In this presentation you have learned the parts of the sword, how the sword is worn, and the movements of the sword. Practice and learn them well.